Yeah, this is New Jersey, but we got farms and everything. South Jersey. Nah, those is goats. Those is goats. Let's go. Hey, goats. Okay. They're not no cats, they goats. Come on. Say bye, goats. Bye, goats. Come on, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Look at the goats. Jackson State wide receiver with the transport portal after the season tweeted out his top five. Now, one of the teams you already know, that's Colorado. Like, that's not shocking to no one. Now, the other teams are Ole Miss, Texas A&M, Cincinnati, and UNLV. Now, Shane Hooks is a real good wide receiver. In 2022, he caught 64 passes for over 700 yards, and I believe he had 10 touchdown receptions. So he's a big-time player. Shane Hooks is no joke. He's nice on that football field. But if you watch Jackson State football, like, they can lose receivers. They got receivers. They got four-star receivers. They can replace Shane Hooks. Not taking nothing from Shane Hooks. A real good wide receiver. Jackson State got tons of receivers. It's not like they're losing a real good offensive lineman. Hard replacing real good offensive linemen. You couldn't replace wide receivers. Now, this young man has to do what's best for him. So whatever school he picks, I'm going to applaud him and wish him the best. I believe at the end of the day, he's going to pick Colorado because he's familiar with Coach Prime, the coaching staff, uh, Shador Sanders, and Travis Hunter, another real good wide receiver. Now, Colorado, they're going to have a lot of competition for the number one and number two wide receiver spots. They picked up Jimmy Horn Jr., and you got Travis Hunter, who's going to try to play both ways. Now you're going to add... Maybe Shane Hooks. Is she do it throwing the ball? So they said at wide receiver. But like I said, I wish him nothing but the best going forward. Like Jackson State got wide receivers. It's not like they lost an offensive lineman or a D lineman. Way more valuable to your football teams when you got six or seven, three or four star receivers waiting to get some some touches. So there'll be a lot of competition during spring ball at Jackson State to see who emerges at the wide receiver position. Should be a great competition. They got a lot of real good wide receivers. Should be no drop-off in 2023.